My name is Suthon Bawan Ratanawet. I'm Senior Director of Orthopedic Department, Bangkok General Hospital, Bangkok, Thailand. My name is Rodrigo Pesantes and I'm the Chief of Orthopedic Trauma Service at Fundación Santa Fe de Bogotá, Bogotá, Colombia. My name is Rito Babst. I'm the Chief of Trauma Surgery at Luzerner Canton Hospital in Lucerne, Switzerland. We are the editors of the Minimally Invasive Plate Osteosynthesis Second Expanded Edition. Suturon, tell me yeah. why we need a second expanded edition of the Minimally Invasive Plating book so shortly after a successful first edition. The first edition uh, finished in uh, 2007, right? And after that, this book has become like uh, the education material, the surgeon around the world start to practicing. And we realized that there are much more that we are learning throughout our experience, throughout the complication around the world. So we discussed with some of the surgeons who are working in different regions in the AO, said it's a time that we bring this knowledge and know-how and the technique in order to expand what we gain from our experience to the surgeons around the world. So we decided in uh, 2009 that it's time because you know you need another two years at least in order to produce the book. And this time we we think it's important now to have an editor from other region to get a contribution from the surgeons who uh, use this technique. And that is uh, how the essence uh, of AO that we all work together and bring the knowledge and uh, give it to the surgeons uh, and uh, who can use it in the proper way. And of course, the benefit is for the patient. So there's a lot that we have to decide to include in this book in order to make it even better than we have done the first edition. Well, Rodrigo, you see three of us as an editor, as a team, we come from different continents and different regions. Uh, and then we have to ask from all the contributor from the surgeon around the world. It must be a very difficult task, isn't it? What do you think? You know, for me, it was a fascinating experience because it shows something that the AO has been doing for a long time, which is not only the previous thing that we mentioned, but the networking. It's a group of friends, of collaborating friends from all over the world. And we have to face it, the world is getting smaller, the communication tools are easier to you. So it was really, really an amazing experience to work with people from all over the world and had the experience to collect cases and it did it. That's why it took us two years to work with everybody, but it's been a great, great experience. Well, Reto and Rodrigo, as now we are a team of editors from different continents, what can we add in this book? We added a big chapter of uh, mechanobiology, very updated. This includes even the mechanobiology of circular mm -hmm. wiring. Then we got new areas where surgeons started to use the MIPO technique, yep. like the clavicle, like the pelvis, or also the calcaneus. There is also something new in the book, which is how we structure every chapter. In every chapter you have the principles, and then you have how to assess the patient, then the images that you need to do it, this one, and then the pre-operative planning. Then we move to the operating room and we have how we set up the patient, position the patient, reduction techniques, fixation, and then the rehabilitation. But on top of it we have also new chapters, like pediatric fractures, fragility fractures, one on special indications that will include something like limb lengthening using the plates, and also osteotomies using a minimal invasive technique. And then at the end, we also tackle the problem that we all have faced, which is the removal of implants using minimally invasive techniques. And it's all of this that makes this new second expanded edition a great book. Well, I think we need to sum up, and I would like to ask uh, Reto, what do you think this book, in terms of education, what is the message? I think uh, this book uh, represents uh, beautifully an educational tool for the surgical community. 
in a field which has evolved mass massively in the last 10 years. It's a, uh, a, a book who shows where we stand now. It's a step we will go further, but it's a up-to-date what we know about MIPO, not just uh, on the micro mechanobiology, but also about techniques. Certainly, it's also, as Reto just said, these techniques with this education will go to improve what we care the most, which is our patients. And if we master the techniques that Reto is saying, we can have better understanding of the soft tissues, have diminishing the footprints that we leave on the, on the bone and the soft tissues, and then we have faster bone healing, less complication, and at the end, what we care the most, we improve patient outcome. Yeah. I think uh, all of us believe that the mission of the AO is the education. It's one that can lead to be excellent in the trauma care, particularly musculoskeletal system. And I fully hope that this book, when the surgeon understand, will make the benefit to the patient and that to help us to achieve our mission of the AO. And we and all the author of this book are sure that you will enjoy reading it. <laughs>